A back to school activity. This lesson is about how children around the world get to school. It's very important that students do appreciate the fact that they do have an opportunity to come to school. During the opening of the lesson or throughout the warm up of the lesson, students are required to perform a quick and very short survey. They are given a worksheet where they have to walk around in the classroom and ask different students how each and every one gets to school. This is the quick survey uh, during the warm up that students will perform and walk around in the classroom and ask each other how each and every one gets to school. If students get to school by car, then what the student needs to do is they need to write all the names of the students that get to school by car uh, in the chart below the image of the uh, car and the words by car. And th they do the same thing for the other uh, ways of how the other students get to school. And once that is done, they count the total number of how many students get to school by car, they, how many students walk, how many students get to school by bus, how many students get to school by bike and, and, and so on and then they would have uh, let's say a roundup of a quick survey of how students in the classroom get to school. Following this short warm-up we're going to be talking about now the uh, process of the lesson uh, where you actually carry out the activity of how students around the world get to school. Before watching the short video about how students around the world get to school, it's very important that we make sure our learners do know the meanings of certain words that they would listen to in the short video. In this worksheet, students are required to write the correct words below each picture. Following this, students will perform a short writing and speaking activity and answer the following question. Why is going to school very important? And now we're going to talk about the process of the activity. This worksheet will be performed while students are watching the short video. I'm projecting the video through a split screen, so on the left side of the screen you would see the worksheet that students will be performing and on the right side of the screen you would see the video that students will be watching. The link or the QR code for the short video students will be watching is available in the worksheet that the students get. It is also available below this YouTube video in the description box. In this video, students are exposed to ways of how students around the world get to school. What they need to do, they need to write next to each way of how students around the world get to school, write the name of the country where this takes place. So for example, in the first one you see, some pupils walk a five hour journey into the mountains. So in which country does this take place? While students are watching and listening to the short video, they need to fill in this information. After watching the video and performing the previous activity, students are required to perform a writing and speaking activity. After performing this activity by writing, students share their answers with their partners through a speaking activity. Then, as a follow-up activity, students are going to review the words they have learned throughout the lesson by playing a short and fun game. The link for the game and the PowerPoint projected here is also available below this YouTube video in the description box. This game was created through wheelofnames.com. As you can see, on the wheel we can see different pictures taken from the short video that students watched about how students around the world get to school. You might want to click on enter full screen to get a better view of the game. When the wheel turns, one picture is chosen.
Here, students have to guess in which country students use inflated tie tubes to get to school. If they do know the answer, we click on remove and then the picture is removed. This is another example where students use a damaged bridge to get to school. And if the students do know the answer, then we click on remove. If they don't, we click on close and the image remains. You can continue until all the images are removed from the Wheel of Names circle. You could also do this activity in groups and have students compete to make it much more fun. Of course, all the files and worksheets are available right below this YouTube video in the description box. Enjoy!